Okay, today we're going to take this uh, 1954 Series 1 Land Rover 86 inch soft top for a spin. Now, this one, instead of its original 2 litre engine, at some point in the 1990s, I think 1993 94, um, it was fitted with a Series 3 2.25 um, petrol engine, uh, also Series 3 gearbox. Um, and at some point, whether it's the same time or not, I don't know, it's also acquired Series 3 axles. But um, it's still a really charming vehicle for all that. Um, just, you know, not entirely original, should we say, but uh, price wise, accordingly. Um, finished in the RAF blue, we, there's no records of it ever having been in the RAF. Um, it seems to be a civilian vehicle rather than a military one, but it is finished in RAF blue. I can't find any, I've looked everywhere on the paint and I can't, it, inside it and everything, uh, and I can't find any trace of it ever being any, any other colour. So uh, whilst we don't have a heritage, heritage certificate for it, um, I think it probably is its, uh, its original colour. Anyway, let's take it for a spin. Um, Speedo is reading 98,000 miles. I think it, it's done about 5,000 miles since the, uh, the 2.25 conversion in it. Um, we've got the camera mounted on the screen and upside down, so you won't be able to see an enormous amount, but you'll be able to hear it and stuff. It's actually very rattle-free. Um, it's also got it's, the engine it runs like an absolute Swiss watch, actually. It's also got an old, old pressure gauge, which works, and a water temperature gauge, again, which works. Um, anyway, let's fire it up. So, oh, and a heater, which um, does produce some air. <laughs> Whether it produces heat or not is another matter. Um, Smith's round heater. Right. Starts nicely, all pressure light goes out, into gear. It's Because it's a Series 3 gearbox, it's the all-synchromesh version, and um, gearbox-wise it's nice, there's no jumping out of gear or funny noises or anything. Uh, I'll turn this around a bit so you might be able to see the dash rather than me. Wrong way, it's upside down. Give you an idea there, what we're about. I'll turn it around again later. Anyway, off we go. road is so bumpy it, uh, it actually rides really well it's on obviously on leaf springs but rides exceptionally well this road is like a farm track we're going down here now only slight criticism i can make of it and it is it's not a major criticism the steering is slightly heavier than I would like. Um, not sure why, we just had a look at it, nothing has, nothing nothing jumps out to say why that is. Um, but the steering is just, just a little bit heavier than uh, than I would normally expect. And now I can't see where I'm going at this junction. Things out very gently. Very bumpy roads here, but uh, it um, handles the bumpy roads with a plum actually. It's a fourth. So I keep trying to adjust that camera so it doesn't at least show something, but. Uh, Um, all the gauges will seem to work, speedo, ammeter, fuel gauge, oil pressure gauge and water as I say. It brakes nicely as well, there's no funny noises under braking, You're pulling to one side. chassis and bulkhead on it. Fourth. I'll rush that change a bit. 
it, so there's a slight synchro branch there going into fourth, but I'll go and try it again. Back into third, no synchro branching. Yeah, it does, does branch a bit on the up and change into fourth if you rush it. camera go the right way. Yeah, I got it. There you have it. Um, my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118-907-1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drone.com. No, That's right, moto-drone.com. End. <laughs>